Hey there YouTube, it's Mike the Dicka Collector here. Got a nice Chicago Bears mail day for you all. Uh, hope you're all doing well. I just watched uh, both of the playoff games today. The Jaguars game was pretty exciting at the end there, huh? I really thought the Chargers had it and then they completely imploded in the second half. I have a feeling there's going to be some changes going on there. I don't know, maybe Sean Payton heading to L.A.? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, so our pickups for the week. Picked up this 2012 Topps NFL Captain patch. It's a pretty cool looking card. Uh, it's Julius Peppers. I have the Jay Cutler version, and I just figured it'd be nice to add this. It was a good price. So uh, it's not numbered, but uh, pretty cool. It's the back. And then for my Robbie Gold PC, I have a 2007 score red zone. I have a bunch of, of there's a bunch of cards in this set. There was an end zone set, which was numbered out of 10, a gold zone, um, and then just the regular base. So I have a bunch of them, and they're, and they're graded. This one has eluded me, and I was able to pick it up for a good price. And this one's actually numbered out of, let's see if I can get that to show up there, numbered out of 120. So pretty happy to have it. Uh, corners look pretty good. It might head off to PSA if they ever, you know, come back to earth with their prices. We'll have to wait and see. But happy to have that. So then, of course, we can't have a Bears Mail Day without some beautiful Ditkas. And I have a doozy for you at the end here. Uh, but we'll start with 2005 Don Russ Classics. Just a little jersey. Probably manufactured. I don't think it's an authentic jersey. Uh, this card's numbered out of 150. It's a beautiful card, and I'm happy to have it. I was a little disappointed. This is exactly how it came in the mail, in a plain white envelope. Nice thick card, no protection, and unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to show up, but that top left corner is pretty dinged up, so... Still happy to have it. It's not an, it, It's numbered out of uh, 150. 150, but a uh, little, little damaged. Then just a nice base card here from 2019 Panini Paralleled. Mike Dicka. This one's not numbered, but nice and shiny, beautiful. Got to keep adding to the Dicka PC. And then... The big, big pickup, probably for the next two months because it cost me a, a bunch of money. This is from 2005, Upper Deck Legends, Legendary Heritage. So on this, you have Ozzy Newsom, Russ Francis, John Mackey, Dave Casper. But then, you turn her over, you also have... Mike Dicka, Heath Miller, Algie Crumpler, and Antonio Gates. So an eight tight end card. And let's see if we can get that to show up. This beauty is numbered four out of five. So, of course, Ozzie Newsome played for the Browns from 79 to 90, and he's in the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, Russ Francis played for the Patriots, Niners, and then went back to the Patriots. His career was long. He had a long career from 75 to 88. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but he is in the Oregon, Oregon Sports Hall of Fame. So, pretty cool. John Mackey played for the, let's see, the Colts and the Chargers. Ten-year career from 63 to 73, and he's in the Hall of Fame. Dave Casper played for the Raiders for most of his career, from 74 to 80. And then I guess he just didn't want to give it up, so he ended up going to Houston from 81 to 83 and back to the Raiders in 84. Interestingly, he started his career with the Oakland Raiders and ended it with the L.A. Raiders. So, pretty neat, and he's always he's in the Hall of Fame as well. Mr. Ditka, drafted by the Bears in 61, played from 61 to 66 with the Bears. Then went to the Eagles for 67, 68. Off to the Cowboys from 69 to 72. And I believe he won a Super Bowl with the Cowboys. And he's in the NFL Hall of Fame. 
Heath Miller played his whole career with the Steelers from 2005 to 2015. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but he is in the Steelers Hall of Honor. Algie Crumpler played for the Falcons from 2001 to 2007. Titans from 08 to 09, and the Patriots in 2010. I couldn't find any accolades for him. Uh, and Antonio Gates played his entire career with the Chargers from 2003 to 2018. I believe he belongs in the Hall of Fame, but he's not in there yet. But so far, out of the eight, whoops, out of the eight signees on this card, five of them are in the Hall of Fame. So I'm pretty excited to have this. I think it's an awesome card, and it did come with a separate card, which is the upper deck certificate of authenticity. So pretty happy to have that. It's a pretty huge pickup for me. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like, subscribe, give me some comments. Uh, thank you all for watching, and God bless.